Welcome to Mamas and Mannies. I'm your host, Trina. Mamas and Mannies is a podcast for mamas that are looking for a quick burst of self-care. Let's dive in. This week, we're going to be talking about tea time. But before we get started, let's start with our usual motivational quote for the week. The motivational quote this week comes from the one and only Queen Latifah. And the quote is, I am a strong woman with or without this other person, with or without this job, and with or without tight pants. (laughs) That's actually why I picked the quote for the last part. So again, um, the quote for the week is by Queen Latifah. And she says, I am a strong woman with or without this other person, with or without this job, and with or, with, with or without tight pants. So basically, um, you are strong and all you need without something else. So you don't need that title, that job, the other person. Um, and like she said, even the tight pants or whatever tight pants may be, a new purse, a new outfit, a crop top, whatever that may be, you're strong without all of that. All right, so mama time for the week is stress relieving tea. So I have a few, two teacups here. Have you want to drink your tea? Um, I have several teacups that I like to use so you can start off with getting you a nice teacup if you want to. These are actually teacups that I got when I was doing a baby shower for my youngest daughter. So I got these actually from, I got these actually from Goodwill. I think I got them all from Goodwill and one other um, consignment shop. This is actually a Linux cup, really nice, pretty. Um, pink and green so it's like pink flowers with a green vine going through the top of it but it's very pretty and then I also I think this one I got from the other consignment shop this is not really a fancy one it's century stoneware so it's probably not a fancy one but it's just cute I got it because it had flowers on it since I knew I was having a little girl I just wanted girly cups so I got those two And then I do have some teas that I drink. But um, these teas are more for in the morning. And I think they're all caffeine free. The ones that I have here. I have lemon ginger. They're all by Bigelow. I have lemon ginger. This one is um, a herbal tea and it's also like a probiotic. I have green tea with lemon. So that's a great one. And then I also have black tea. So this one, I think black tea has caffeine in it. So this one you probably want to drink in the morning if you're listening in the morning. And then I have Earl Grey black tea. The first one was constant comment. I don't know what that means. But this one is Earl Grey black tea. And I think this one may have caffeine in it too so those two you definitely probably want to drink in the morning if you want to get a little caffeine in but I did want to talk about some relaxing teas since mama mamas and mannies does focus on relaxation tips so some relaxing teas I don't have any with me right now but mint teas, and I'm looking at my notes, mint teas are great for relaxation. They help to soothe and calm. Well, they actually soothe the body and calm the mind. So that's mint tea. And then chamomile tea is, of course, well known for its relaxing properties. Um, It makes a soothing, aromatic cup of tea. And what I do with my tea, I know some people have loose leaf tea. I don't have any loose leaf tea. I've actually never tried loose leaf tea. Um, I think one time we had like the, kind of like the cute shaped tea bags. Maybe it was shaped like a pyramid and it did have loose tea inside of it. 
but I've never used like a steeper, I'm sure that's not what it's called, but the little ball you can actually put the loose leaf tea in and steep it in your cup. So if you're a really big tea person, I'm sure you have some of those. Or you just um, look at teas and collect teas. Another relaxing tea is lavender tea. Um, it promotes relaxation and it's a great soothing addition to, oh, just lavender by itself. You can buy loose lavender here if you're in the Atlanta area. Um, you can actually buy loose lavender from the market and you can definitely add that to tea if you want to. You may want to have it like in a bag or something like that, but it'll give you the same uh, stress relieving and relaxation feeling. Then you have rose teas, um, and of course, rose petals are always relaxing. And finally, matcha. And matcha is a tea that contains a unique amino acid that promotes relaxation. And matcha has a higher level, higher level of this unique amino acid. It's called L. I'm sure I'm pronouncing that wrong, but it has a higher level than any other tea. That's what causes it in combination with caffeine to produce a calm meditative state um, and why ma matcha is so popular. So those are just a few teas. Um, if you're looking to start your week off or in your week on a relaxing tip, definitely check out some stress relieving teas such as mint tea, chamomile tea, lavender tea, or if you want to get some loose lavender from the market or from your local store, you can definitely do that and add that to your tea if you want to put it like in a strainer bag. You can definitely do that. And of course, rose teas. I wonder, could you put like rose water, a few drops, because I've heard rose water is pretty... Um, potent but if you could put like a few drops of rose water I don't know that to be sure I feel like if you put it in there it may be too strong so you may want to look that up um but definitely if you can find some rose tea I think that would probably be better I would hate for somebody to get some rose water put it in the tea and then it be too strong I would definitely hate that and then finally of course matcha tea that has that um, combination with that L-theanine and caffeine to give you that calm meditative state. So that's definitely, um, those are some great teas to check out. So let us know what you're doing, what kind of teas you're drinking, or if you're drinking another relaxing um, beverage, let us know that as well. So definitely comment, like, and hit the bell for notifications. That way we can keep in contact, we'll know what you're doing. And also when you get the notifications, you'll know when we drop another podcast. Um, usually we'll drop a podcast on Mondays because Mondays are for mamas. To start that week or end that week off. And then the first five ladies to do all three, like, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications, you'll actually receive a free mama pack in the mail. Um, once you do all three, we'll contact you back so you can, we can give you um, that pack and you can give us your information. So remember, me time is always essential and it's never selfish. Thanks for listening to Mamas and Mannies. I'm your host, Trina. Thank you.